Today, we are going to be going over how rare Bitcoin is. And so I don't think people realize this. It is one of the rarest assets that can be bought today. A lot of people will compare it to gold. However, gold can be mined, right? The value of gold goes up. People will go and find more gold. However, with Bitcoin, that is different. This is the first asset that actually has a cap on the circulating supply. So right now, there's about 19 and a half million coins existing. However, as the Bitcoin halving goes on and mining takes place, we will get closer to 21 million Bitcoin and there will never be more Bitcoin that exists. And so there has been Bitcoin that's been lost. There has been Bitcoin that has been sent to the wrong address. There is hard wallet, hardware wallets that have been lost. And so there's a lot less Bitcoin existing than people actually think. You see 21 million. However, I'm going to be showing you there is not actually 21 million Bitcoin existing today. And so let's go ahead and dig into some of the information that we have here. So let's first take a look at the Bitcoin chart. We can see this is currently a trading at about 44,000 has done very well over the last couple of months. We are on our eighth week of green candles here. So I could see a pullback. We are at resistance here. We did bounce off that at about $44,700. However, we could break through that with a potential ETF coming up here shortly. And so while we are talking about Bitcoin, let's go ahead and take a look at Margex here. Margex is a leveraging platform that you can use to long or short Bitcoin. If you're interested in that, there is a link underneath the video while you are down there. Please hit the subscribe and like button. I'd really appreciate it. And so we have the Bitcoin halving coming up in the spring of 2024. We have had three Bitcoin halvings since the inception of Bitcoin. So we had one in 2012, 2016 and 2020. And so this reduces the amount of block rewards by cutting it in half for Bitcoin miners. I personally have a Bitcoin miner myself. And so for it to continue to make sense to continue mining and pay for the electricity to run that device, the price of Bitcoin has to keep going up. And so this is something to keep in mind. We have a lot of these halvings you can see here. Um, however, as it keeps getting cut in half, the only way it makes sense for these miners to keep running if the price continues to appreciate. And so I personally do not think that all Bitcoin will be mined. We'll eventually get to a block reward having that it does not make sense to continue mining Bitcoin and thus the price is you know way up there say we're above a million dollars and then it starts still making sense however some of these Bitcoins may not be mined as we continue to push through these halvings and so that's something to keep in mind for the number of Bitcoin that will be in circulation and so we also have a chart here showing that a lot of Bitcoin is leaving exchanges. So this is at an all time low here. We're seeing a lot of people pull Bitcoin off the exchanges, maybe into a hardware wallet. Um, and so as this continues to drop, that is a very bullish indicator for the price of Bitcoin. And then we also have Bitcoin that could potentially have been lost. And so there's Bitcoin out there where the owner can't locate it because they forgot the private key or the security code. They lost their hardware wallet. Maybe they potentially sent Bitcoin to the wrong address and it is gone forever. And so we got to keep that in mind. There is roughly it is estimated that there is roughly 30 percent of Bitcoin that is lost. And so this is a big number of Bitcoin that does not exist. So even though we say there's 21 million, 30 percent of that is a huge amount of Bitcoin that will never exist. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what this means for the supply of Bitcoin and holding 0.1 Bitcoin. And so as I mentioned, there is supposed to be 21 million Bitcoin total. However, it is estimated that there is 30% of Bitcoin that is lost or stolen, which is 6.3 million Bitcoin. And then as I mentioned as well, there may be Bitcoin that may never be mined, which let's estimate that that is about 500,000. And so that would mean that the actual total Bitcoin is about 14.2 million. Now there is 240,000 Bitcoin currently being held by public companies. I assume that they will continue to want to buy more Bitcoin, especially as the ETFs get approved. And so they are going to be holding on to a lot more Bitcoin. And so let's just assume that there's 14 million Bitcoin remaining today. Now in the world, there is 8.1 billion people. However, out of the 8.1 billion, 60% are invested in the stock market, which is roughly 4.86 billion people. So if you want to own 0.1 Bitcoin, that means that 140 million people can own 0.1 Bitcoin of the 14 million remaining. And so that would mean that only less than 3% of people can actually own 0.1 Bitcoin. Which means right now the average person might be able to afford 0.1 Bitcoin costing you roughly $4,400. However, as the price continues to go up, this is going to become harder to afford. And so this is going to become very rare. So only 3%. Now we know that 
Some people are gonna buy more than 0.1 Bitcoin. Obviously, there's gonna be people that own less than that. And so this could be way less than 3%, depending on how many how many retail investors you know might only buy a couple hundred dollars versus the retail investor owning whole Bitcoins. And so that will adjust this. However, this just shows that with the total supply of Bitcoin only being 21 million, and then accounting for the lost Bitcoin that may be sent to the wrong address, or is stolen, or a lost um, ledger device. And so even if Bitcoin is not utilized um, as a use case, it is gonna be a hedge against inflation. This is gonna be very similar to gold. However, if the price of gold goes up, people will go out and find where to mine more gold. However, that is the different thing with Bitcoin here. You cannot go and mine more Bitcoin. Once the 21 million are mined, there is no more existing. And so you're just gonna have to buy from people. And so whether they wanna sell it for $500,000, if you'd like to purchase the Bitcoin, that is gonna be the cost that you're going to have to pay. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts underneath the video in the comments section, and make sure to check out the link to Margex down below. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next video.